Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a review of a couple of products that I have been wanting to test out that I've kept in my makeup collection and haven't played with them. And then other products that I've already played with and just kind of want to share with you guys. So we have the YSL, uh, what they call the Bare Look Tint. I have some makeup by Mario products. I have some Mented products and some Kiss products, Lash products, all of that. So we're just going to get into it because I don't think you guys want to hear me talk all day. Okay. All right, you guys. So let's jump right into it. Um, this is the Givenchy. Givenchy. I don't know. <laughs> um it's in the shade 30 it's like a liquid balm it's like a lip balm so okay i already prepped my skin in terms of moisturizer oil and all of that i'm just gonna go ahead and prime with this um jane iredell smooth affair um brightening primer just gonna add a little bit more Here's the YSL, um, what's it called? The Bare Look Tint in the shade 13. Um, I bought it online, obviously, and because it's not in stores yet. So I was having a lot of trouble trying to figure out my shade. So this, I suggest that if you're going to purchase it, let me just shake it up, that you try it in stores because the shades, like um, the pictures they have where like swatches and stuff don't really match up to like the models. Like it's not accurate at all. So yeah. Um, the consistency is creamy, but it's not overly thick. It's definitely super lightweight, especially once you blend it out with your finger. And this shade definitely has a warmer golden undertone, which I absolutely love. So I'm just going to swatch this right here so you guys can see the shade. It's like perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and use a sponge just because I feel like using a sponge right now. I will say if you're looking for a little bit more coverage, because this is a super lightweight type of product, I would suggest using your fingertips um, because using a sponge or a brush definitely will absorb a lot of the product. But I don't mind that right now um, just because I don't feel like using my hands right now to apply this product. So, so far, I would say that I've used like, like a full pump or so. And you still can see like discoloration, hyperpigmentation, and the dark spot because it's a super lightweight type of product. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish applying this and we'll continue with the rest of the makeup application. Alrighty, you guys, so this is pretty much, I would say, two pumps and a half or so. Mind you, this is a squeezy tube type of foundation, so I've just kind of like estimated how much I apply, and it's still very sheer, very lightweight. I don't even feel it on my face, but I'm still able to see dark spots and all of the imperfections, especially this horrible thing right here that I have because I had a huge cyst, that's why I, I, I haven't been able to film and I just couldn't. So yeah, now I'm left with that. But um, I just quickly want to mention this product, um, the YSL Tinted, whatever it's called, Bare Look Tinted Foundation. It's definitely a product that I feel like warms up after you apply it. So it definitely looks a little bit darker in person. And on camera, maybe you guys won't be able to tell because I have all the bright lights. But in person, it definitely is a lot warmer than the rest of my body. So we're gonna continue to move on to the rest of the makeup application. Um, I've had this for um, the longest time, the Makeup by Mario products. So here is the shaping, shaping stick, sorry, in the shade dark. So that's what that looks like. This is my first time using it. Um, I haven't played with it. This shade, I feel like it's great for, I guess, contouring, warming up, but I just wanna see the actual formula. I don't like dry products, you guys know. So this brush is from uh, Patrick Tom, if you guys are interested. Yeah, the shade is perfectly fine because it gives me the warmth that I'm looking for. It's not cool tone, it's not grayish, 
but I'm just looking at the formulation, the finish. All right, so you guys know I can live without a liquid or cream highlight. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Silvery uh, Gold Gas. Um, this is the Beauty Light Wand. And I'm just gonna apply this on the back of my hand. This is a MAC 159 brush. And I recommend that if you're gonna use a liquid or cream product like this to highlight with, or even to use it as a blush, if you are a person who likes to set your makeup with a lot of powder, um, use all your cream and liquid products first and then go ahead and set. That way you don't get that cakey um, look afterwards. And then you're able to get more so um, a glow from within rather than like a super intense highlighted look. For blush, I'm gonna use the Makeup and Mario, oh, this is the wrong one, in the shade Soft soft Coral. And it's just like a coral shade, that's exactly what it is. And again, the shade is not a problem for me because these are my type of tones, but I just wanna see the overall finish. I'm using the Sephora number 55 brush. It's just, it's a foundation brush, but I like to use it um, for cream products, like blushes and stuff like that. Oh, I like the finish. Definitely has a um, luminous finish. It's not overly dewy, dewy like like the um, Fenty cream blushes, but it gives me the glow that I'm looking for. And there's definitely pigment there. Pigment there. I can speak. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath in shade M17. So I'm going to use the Sean Tilbury Airbrush Powder in the shade Medium as usual and this is a MAC 240S brush. I'm setting it very lightly. I don't like to uh, pack my under eye with powder because it just looks cakier in my opinion. So I'm just setting very, very lightly. So Fix Plus. This is just gonna help to get rid of that powdery look. It's gonna help to melting all of the products, add a little bit of glow. It's just like magic in a bottle. Alrighty, so for bronzer, Makeup by Mario, I got the shade Dark, and it's a very warm tone, which I like. You guys know I like warm tone bronzers. The MAC 140S brush, my favorite bronzing brush, and oh, this is super pigmented, wow. All right, so I'm gonna start right on my forehead just to warm up this five head i am this is how much product i get just with like tapping it once so i'm removing most of it on the back of my head because i don't need that much product like i'm not trying to look like a pumpkin you know but wow i'm impressed with how pigmented this product is, and it's super fluffy, like the formula. It's not dry at all. Even though it has a matte finish, it's very fluffy and airy. Like, it almost feels like I'm using a loose powder bronzer rather than like a pressed powder bronzer. It's really, really nice. So moving on to the blush, again, Makeup by Mario in the shade Creamy Peach. And this is a powder blush. So hopefully it shows up on my complexion because it looks pretty light. It's giving me peach and pink at the same time. Um, this is a MAC 137 brush. Highly recommend this brush to apply like blush or highlight or even just to set your face with a powder. So let me tap some of the... Oh, it has a nice sheen to it. 
but not overly like shimmery or anything like it's just a sheen not glitter or anything like that I like that this is giving me Mac pinch me I think is it pinch me can't remember but it's very very pretty and into my eyes real quick you see the Charlotte Tilbury uh, pillow talk palette Mac to 24 brush and I'm just gonna go in probably with this shade right here this one right here just want something super easy and natural so I'm gonna apply some lashes and kids send me a couple of products you guys to try out um, but today I'm gonna be using uh, this lashes right here they're super super natural Ooh. My camera these are the blessed lashes and I'm gonna be trying this glue as well it's like a felt tip um, type of glue liner you guys I applied um, the lashes just on obviously on this eye you guys have to see this so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see the whole process all right so here's the liner it's just a felt tip liner focus just the fill tip liner, but it's actual glue. So I'm just gonna apply this on my lash line. And you basically just wanna put pressure on the pen so that the product comes out. You just wanna obviously let it get tacky before applying the lash. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the lash. I actually went ahead and grabbed the Natasha Denona Bronze Cheek Face Glow Palette. I haven't used this in a while. And I just want to add a little bit of bronzy mess to my skin. So I'm just going to use this shade right here with that same brush I used earlier to apply the blush, which is the MAC 137. And I'm just going to apply this on my cheeks. This to add glow and it's kind of like a blush topper vibe that I'm getting with this product so so before I move on to the lips I'm going to use the airbrush flawless setting spray by Charlotte Tilbury just to lock everything in all right so to line my lips I'm going to use the minted Lala lip pencil so, uh, kind of like a retractable pencil, so you don't have to sharpen it. So definitely kind of like the, this mauve tone. Like it's not brown, it's more of a rosy type of color. For lipstick, I'm using the Angel Alessandra by Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, Angel Alessandra. It's one of my favorite lipsticks ever. It's pretty much like Max. Um, can't speak today. Max kind of sexy. Perfect peachy color. For gloss, I'm going to be using the Mented. Um, Lip gloss in the shade Unpinkable. It's just such a beautiful color, but it's not super, super intense, which I love. So I'm just gonna put that over it. Oh, I love the smell. It smells incredible. Alrighty, my love, so this is the completed look. I went ahead and put some earrings on, but I just wanna go ahead and get into my overall thoughts on the products that I use today, like the new products, starting off with the Skin Tint by YSL. So 
If you guys don't know, YSL just launched a new line, which is more of a clean, more natural type of uh, makeup for those of you who are very sensitive or those of you who just like a very everyday type of kind of like coverage, just very lightweight. And again, this is not my first time using this product. I've used it twice. This is my third time. And overall, I really, really, really like it. The coverage is super, super sheer, you guys. I would consider this more of a sheer to light type of coverage. Um, I do recommend using your fingertips if you want a little bit more coverage. Um, but it just looks like skin. It feels like skin. Um, Application-wise, please, please make sure you shake this up before applying it onto your face just because you want to make sure that, you know, the product comes out accordingly. You don't want... The pigment to be off and stuff so definitely shake this up really really well um the glow that it gives is definitely there but it's not super super intense like for example the kosas tinted face oil foundation you know what i mean this is a little bit more subdued um but it still gives that luminosity if you're into the glow type of vibe um i don't think that this is for those of you who obviously are into coverage cake face um, great for those of you who like that minimalistic type of makeup um, but I just think this is a product that you guys have to test out for yourselves because the consistency can throw some people off in my opinion it looks thick but when you apply it it feels literally like water it's very airy very fluffy just very just natural um, therefore coverage wise you're not really gonna see it um, I think for the price of this product um, I'm really impressed just because YSL is pricey. You guys know it's a luxury high end brand, and usually their foundations tend to range above like the $45 to $50 mark. Um, this is what like $30? Yeah, so it's $38. So, in my opinion, for a high end luxury brand for a tinted moisturizer, it's not bad. However, it is a lightweight type of product, so I know some of you guys might feel like it's a little bit too much for a sheer type of product but again it's all about preference in terms of the shades um again i recommend that you guys try it out in stores just because the shades online is really hard to tell what's gonna work for you um i had a really really tough time i was going back and forth between shell uh, sorry shade 12 13 14 15 and i just didn't know but i think this is the perfect shade for me um 14 is definitely gonna be too neutral and 15 is just too dark for me and i think 12 might have been too light um i do want to talk about the fact that this product warms up after after applying it so it does oxidize a little bit but not excessively so keep that in mind um uh, with that being said you might be able to get away with going a shade lighter because it does warm up to the skin this works on camera it looks perfect in person, I was able to kind of even it out after applying the powder, the concealer, all of that. So it looks perfect, but I just really, really want to make sure that you guys know that it does warm up after applying it. So maybe go a shade lighter. Overall, I really like it. I'm not going to say I'm like obsessed with it just because um, you guys know right now I'm really into like the Tom Ford Trace Lipstick Foundation Stick, the uh, one that I used in my previous video. I'm like so obsessed with that foundation. And the Kosas Tinted um, Face Oil one is like, those two are like my fave right now. Uh, but this is definitely a beautiful product for every day. So I do recommend, but just kind of like wait until you can try it out in store. Moving on to Makeup by Mario. Starting off with the contour stick. Love, love the formula. I was skeptical at first because I thought it was gonna be kind of dry, but it's not. It's very creamy. Why is this not rolling up? Wait, I'm over here talking about the product like it's something. Oh, there we go. Um, it blends super seamlessly. It's very creamy. So this product to me is like the perfect formula for all skin types. Whether you're dry, oily combo, because it's not too matte for dry skin, but it's I um also not super creamy or like shiny for oily skin. So this works amazing. The shade, I'm very impressed with the tone. It's very warm, very rich, very deep. 
um, and I'm able to share it out if I want more of a natural look, but I know that if I layer it, it could definitely give me more color payoff. So I really, really do like the contour stick a lot. And the shade too, I like the shade because it's warm, it's not cool tone or neutral. I love the shade. Moving on to the actual uh, cream blush. Also love the finish. It's glowy, but not overly dewy. So again, this type of formula to me works on oily skin as well. Dry skin, normal, combo, all of that. This shade is beautiful. I feel like this type of tones work well on all complexions, all skin tones. Really, really like the finish and the application was seamless as well. So I really like it. Um, I like both of the cream products. Moving on to the powder bronzer. This shocked me. I thought I was not going to like this at all because I'm not really into super mattifying type of bronzers. But this literally feels super like lightweight, airy, fluffy. Very reminiscent to the um, airbrush uh, bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury. It's kind of like that formula. Very, very just velvety. Super pigmented. You only need a little bit. Like I barely tapped it and I got a bunch of color payoff. This tone right here is perfect. It warms up my complexion really nicely. Um, so I love the fact that, you know, it's not going to make me look too, too red, but also not too, too like neutral or cool tone or anything like that. The formula, it just feels like a loose bronzer instead of like a press bronzer, which I am really excited about. I'm going to continue to use this. I think this will work well as a blush as well or eyeshadow. The formulation of this product is insane. Like I'm really, really like obsessed. I really, really recommend this bronzer if you're into bronzers. And then next up, we have the blush in the shade Creamy Peach. Really like the formula as well. It has a sheen to it. It's not shimmery or glittery, but it just adds like a soft sheen to the face, which I like. So if you're not into highlighters, um, you can use this on its own and it will give you a little bit of a glow without looking too, too, too much, you know, like it's too intense. So I like, um, I just, the, the shade itself, I think it's beautiful, um, very natural for every day, but I do um, think that I would like more of like an orangey shade, like this type of tone. Well, without, there we go, like this type of tone, just like a tangerine, more coral, not coral, more uh, orangey type of tone. Like for me, this in this formula, I would really, really like it. But overall, I like the blush, but I just think that the bronzer is what really, really blew my mind. And then lastly, um, what do you call it? You guys, the um, Kiss, what's it called? The Lash Glue Liner, the Felt Up Liner. I, I'm really impressed. I applied the lashes so quickly. I didn't have to wait up like a whole lot just for it to get tacky. The application was just in and out. Like this for beginners or for someone who wants to put lashes on in the morning but you don't have time whether you're going to school, you're a mom, whatever, and you're just in a hurry, this is perfect. Like, perfection, okay? Or even just to keep in your purse, like if your lash starts to lift or something, very easy to apply, highly recommend. And these lashes are just giving me a whole vibe. Like, I'm loving it. And um, lastly, you guys, um, the lip gloss that I used earlier from Minted, they just released um, these lip glosses. So they have the one that I use, which is Unpinkable. They have a clear one called Loud and Clear. And then this one called Red Hot and Bothered. Okay. This shade right here, just for like when you're doing more makeup. Like I love, love, love this type of tones. Obviously, when I apply it on the back of my hand, you guys are really not going to see the color because it's, it's very natural. It's very sheer. But... They smell amazing and they're not sticky. They give such a like super wet type of look to the lips. Really, really here for it. So that is pretty much it, you guys. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check the description box below for all the product info. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at J, And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, beauties.